Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and this is paper two, variant two from October, November 2021, IGCSE Cambridge um, 0580 specification. This question here is about probability. It says Sashin picks a number at random from the first three multiples of three. He then picks a number at random from the first three prime numbers. He adds the two numbers to find a score, complete the table. So the first three multiples of three are three, and then six, and then nine. And the first three prime numbers are two, three, and then five. So we're going to complete the table. These, these squares in the middle are the sum of those numbers. So this is like two plus three is five, two plus six is eight, three plus six is nine, nine plus three is twelve, three plus five is eight, 6 plus 5 is 11, and 5 plus 9 is 14. So that's two marks for completing that table, pretty simple. Then part B says, given that the score is even, find the probability that one of the numbers he picks is 9. So this phrase in probability is very important, given that. That means we are restricting the sample to just what's mentioned after that, the score is even. So now I'm not looking at the whole of all the probability, all the possible outcomes in the original question <laughs> as my denominator. I'm looking at just the ones that are, in this case, even. So given that the score is even. So let's just um, highlight the even scores. The score meaning the, um, the score is when you add the two numbers together in this question. So the scores that are even are 8 and 6, and 12, and 8, and 14. Those are the even scores. Everything else is an odd score. So that is our sample space. So when we find the probability, we've got to divide by the number of spaces here, which is 5. And it says, find the probability that one of the numbers he picks is 9. So that means, um, basically, there's two possibilities where he's picked a 9. Okay, and the score is even out of five even scores. So that's going to be two out of five, and that's the answer to part B. Okay, so the word given that is very important here. So to find the probability that one of the scores he picks is nine, that would have been um, two out of nine. But because we're only considering the even outcomes, or given that the score is even, then we have to do two out of five because we are only taking the outcomes which end up as even, which are five outcomes altogether. All right, so it's very important for us to understand given that the score is even, you are now restricting the sample to those which are mentioned after the phrase given that. So the score is even, we're only looking at those as our sample space, so it's two out of five, okay? That's a very important point here. So that concludes this question on probability. Yep, uh, other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist that will appear at the top of the page over here. Other questions from probability can be found in the playlist that appears in this area. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.